Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 battle series. We are back here again today kicking off with this Dialga Kyogre team that we kicked off with yesterday in yesterday's episode. Again just a big thank you to each and every one of you that made suggestions for this call. We had a really solid start and if you missed it go back across this way. I'll put a card up for you lovely people to go back check out yesterday's episode then you can come back to this one. But if you want to just stick around and check out today's episode, that is more than fine. We have got Dialga, Kyogre, Incineroar, the Forgotten Pokemon, Zerkatree, Bronzong and Amoongus in today's squad. As always, the team is linked in the description below with a poker paste and the raw paste for you guys to try out, check out and see what the build is all about. If you've got any questions about anything to do with the build, let me know and I will answer them in coming videos or comments as well. So, Without further ado, let's get into it, guys. I'm excited to kind of continue playing with this one. It seems good. We haven't utilized the Calm Mind on the, the Kyogre too much yet, so hopefully we can use that at some point as we go through this week. Um, but as always, if you enjoy this sort of content, make sure that you do leave a like on the video. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel um, so you don't miss any of these daily battle series that we have coming out, as well as our guides, our review squad, circuit, and everything else in between. We've got our first opponent of the day, Japanese player, 1479. A team of Lunala, Groudon, Venusaur, Stack Attack, Takakoko, Tapu Koko, and Incineroar. Why can't I say Tapu Koko? Takakoko. Um, okay, so we've got the restricted combination of Lunala, Groudon there, you've got the, the Groudon, Venusaur. Lots of really nice combinations in this team, and uh, I really like Lunala, Groudon. It was a great suggestion that we actually had to play on the channel, and it's probably something that we will bring. I just need a little bit longer break from Groudon, um, but you can understand that, I'm sure. Um, Okay, the Incineroar is going to be really important for us in this match, um, especially for that, that Lunala and the Intimidate onto the Groudon, the Stack Attacker Incineroar. We need to make sure that we are we are protecting and taking good care of our Incineroar. Trick Room is going to be huge for us here. Um, so I think what we'll do is lead off with Incineroar and a Bronzong, and I think I'm going to bring Kyogre because it feels like it's going to be a very good idea. We need to be careful for the wide guard, especially on the stack attack of the Lunala, of course. And do we bring, what is our last Pokemon? Amoongus could be very nice here. Dialga feels really good here, to be honest. It's so bulky. We just need to be a little more careful with the Groudon. But we do have skill of the swap on our Bronzong that we can take advantage of and alleviate some of that ground weakness that we do see from the Groudon and those shaky accuracy P-Blades. Right, let's get into it. And uh, I did mention in yesterday's episode we've changed the angle of the camera on the screen, so hopefully it's not disrupting anything too much. Uh, we are going to pay for the, the rest of this week, and I'll review things, and then we might change going into next week. But we're going to lead off with Bronzong and Incinera, and uh, we'll see my opponent lead off with the uh, Lunala and the Tabacoco. Oh man. Uh, okay, I wonder if it's Electric Seed. It makes sense because it would make sense to be a Trick Room Lunala, which I don't mind if you want to set Trick Room up for us. The Electric Terrain being set up though. No Seed though, coming out from the Lunala here. Uh, I think I'm just going to knock off into the Lunala and um, I'm going to just switch out into Dialga, maybe. Um, at the moment, it probably. Or I could U turn. I could U turn as well. Um, that's one thing that's probably not a bad thing to do, but I feel like the Tapu Koko probably out of everything Volt Switches. Um, I'm going to bring in Dialga for Bronzong. We need to keep it around, and I feel like it's like a big target for like the um, the Z move. But again, at this point in the battle, I feel like you might just sit on it and try and get Groudon in to check the Incineroar. Protect the Lunala, but we're not going to see that. We are, uh, we are going to see the type of Coco Volt switch out like we predicted. It's so weird. I don't know why. I'm being really weird right now. But this is the first time I've ever noticed like Incineroar's actual shadow on the battlefield. I don't know why I'm mentioning that either. <laughs> okay, so we do see the Groudon coming. It brings the Sun Moon Guys Beam. It's going to be from the Lunala into Dialga, but we should be able to take this pretty comfortably. Problem is, <coughs> we aren't breaking the Shadow Shield. Still does a lot of damage though, but it's definitely in range for a, a Precipice Blades to take us down. Uh, okay. Um, let's bring in Kyogre. Go 
Because the Groudon's got to feel threatened now. Has to feel threatened. And I think what I'm going to do is try and... I'm going to switch in Bronzong. Oh, I kind of want to switch in Incineroar and Trick Room with Dialga. Hmm. Just get the Intimidate onto the Groudon. But it could mean losing Incineroar, which is feels like it's very important for us in this match. <coughs> hmm. Hmm. Like Bronzong for Kyogre is great, but then if Groudon Precipice Blades, then it definitely takes us out. We need the Intimidate. I think for the sacrifice of getting the Trick Room up, it's not a bad option. I'm going to sacrifice Incineroar. The Lunala is a bit of a problem for us. We should have brought Amoongus to this game. That is the be-all and end-all. If we had Amoongus, Bronzong on the field, um, things would be a lot easier for us to, to maneuver around that Lunala and protect. Okay, so Lunala actually going to protect here. Dialga can hang around. Okay, we're going to see the Tectonic Rage. I'm hoping it's into the Kyogre slot because the Kyogre, yeah, it has to be. Like, if you target the Dialga here, you're kind of hoping that you're banking on the Kyogre protecting. But you could do this to get rid. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I mean, this works out so perfectly for us, really. Uh, Incineroar going down. We get Kyogre back in. Uh, and yeah, we've got the, the, the water spout this next turn. <coughs> and that Groudon has to switch out so we can double into Lunala. Yeah, we just got Water Spout and Thunder, I think. We could go Waterium. Could go Water Z. Feels a bit overkill, but I... Hmm. It's just in case the Lunala actually protects here. That's the thing. I don't really want to risk that. So I'm just going to Water Spout and I'm going to Thunder. The Lunala could protect, for sure. But the Groudon definitely switches out. Yeah, and whatever comes in that slot is going to take a chunk of down, Like the, the Tapu Koko. Okay. Oof, Tapu Koko is a salt vest. We would have been better off going for. And this is where the speed tiers, like it would be better at speed tiering stuff. Oh, we do pick up the paralysis on Lunala. Oh, it reverses the trick room. Ha! Huh. Nice. All right, that's pretty neat. That is neat, I do like that a lot. Um. Okay, we protect. We trick room once again, I think. Um, unless the Lunala tries to Trick Room I'm going to Trick Room again I'm going to Trick Room again there's no reason not to we still got Bronze on in the back and we're kind of locking this Lunala in um, we don't want to take any damage on Kyogre though so we've seen the Z move as well from the Groudon so it's not on the Coco we know it's a Salt Vest there's a Volt Switch it's into the Coco though Lunala paralysed Boosh. Okay. There's a trick room. And this should be enough for us to kind of... Um, what I'm going to do this turn is water spout and switch into... Um, water spout and switch into Bronzong. Because I need that skill swap for when the... The Groudon comes back out. <sighs> the paralysis there, though, kind of from the Lunala, indicates that it wasn't trick rooming. Because if it trick roomed, it would have went after our Dialga. So I don't think my opponent went for the trick room there. But it's so important for us to have this Bronzong out for when that Groudon comes back out because we just... Okay, Lunala going to protect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This makes a lot of sense. We'll get rid of the tap Coco. But even if the Groudon comes in now, like the rain does stop, electric terrain disappears. We've got the skill swap. Because the Groudon probably comes out, I'd imagine. Oh, it's Stack Attacker. Stack Attacker. Okay. Stacks. Stacks, my man. Um, hmm. 
And we could just gyro ball into the Lunala. And go for the Waterium into Stack Attacker. We could gyro ball. Uh, I, 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 I think Wide Guard could be a thing. Gyro ball hopefully is enough. Okay, Stack Attacker going for the Rock Slide. The only problem here is flinches, which would be terrible. And hopefully the, the gyro ball is enough to get this Lunala. It's not quite enough, but we actually get so lucky here. Okay. And we're going to get this Water MZ off, so we're not flinched. Okay. So the next turn. We know the Lunala is actually... It actually outspeeds. Kyogre. Because of that paralysis. Okay, we got rid of the stack attack, and now the Groudon comes in. Now we can do the skill swap stuff. But I think we need to scald the Groudon again. Um, because. I don't know if we take damage from the Lunar Life, if the water spout will be enough in the rain, and I really don't want to risk that. So let's skill swap the Kyogre, get the rain back up. This Groudon could be min speed as well, that's the other thing that we have to kind of worry about a little bit. So there could be a speed tie that we have with, with Kyogre. Lunala going to protect here. We just got to hope the Groudon's not minimum speed and it wins. It wins, but we do get. Um, we do get the rain back up, which is super helpful. That Lunala protecting as well just gives us the opening to kind of close this match up. Ah, uh, but we're we're either very lucky winning the speed tie, or we um, or we're just slower anyway. So the guard I'm going down, and now we'll be able to wrap this one up against the Lunala. It has just protected, so it has to go for a double protect this next turn. Which is never something you really want to. Go for or risk, and uh, we'll just gyro ball scald, and that should be game. So very good, uh, and my opponent just forfeits. So good game to my opponent, and uh, a ninth win for us to kick off today again. So that's very good, and um, we'll just continue on and see how far we can take this team. Hopefully, like we brought Zergatry yesterday, and it did all right. Um, especially with the electric terrain up, it did some big damage. Uh, but the, the taunt on the top Coco yesterday kind of really hindered our ability to progress with the team as much as we wanted in that match and utilize circuitry as, as well as we could. But um, I'm hoping we get a few more opportunities to bring it this week because I do really like it. It is one of my favorite Pokemon. I say that about every Pokemon though, don't I? I just love Pokemon. I just love Pokemon. Every Pokemon is my favorite Pokemon. Not every Pokemon, but a lot of my Pokemon. A lot of Pokemon are. Right. If it takes ages for us to find a Pokemon, as always, I'll just cut this. We'll come straight back to when we find one. But like magic, we've got our next opponent from South Korea, 1482 rated player. And we'll go straight into team preview. Playing a team of Perugly. Cottony, Xerneas, Tapakoko, Kyogre, and Ditto. Man, this is a mad combination. We've got the Xerneas Kyogre combination here for my opponent. It's a restricted pair. You're going to have the Pearl Ugly. Going to be a little bit careful with that because it has got Defiant, it has got Fake Out, it is very fast as well. Cottony as well. Something we need to be a little bit careful for because of that on call um, speed control there with Tailwind. Everything that Whimsicott really gets. And this one's probably holding the EVO light. Uh, Tapakogo there for the terrain control and Ditto is going to be something as well that can cause us quite a few issues. But we do have a good. I think we're not too bad against this team. Like, in general. Like, Bronzong's good against the majority of things here. Um, there's no dark type, ghost type to threaten us. Um, Dialga's also going to be very good as well. You just got to be very careful with setting this trick room up and um, playing it. I wonder if Zerkutri's worth bringing in this match. But, hmm. Really, thinking about it. I think we go. Amoongus, Dialga, Kyogre, and Bronzong. Do we need, do we need Incineroar? I don't feel like we massively need it. Uh, the fake out support would be very nice, but I don't think we need it. So let's get into this one today. Good luck to my opponent, and hopefully we can keep this clean sheet going. <sighs> I 
I think with the Moongus and Bronzong though, uh, a matchup versus Xerneas is not too bad, especially with Dialga as well. Like Dialga's not great at going one on one with it, but you can do a lot of stuff to help support. I'm gonna see the Cottony and the Kyogre come out for my opponent. What is gonna be going on here? I wonder if it's gonna like there's a part of me that's like screaming fake tears and Waltarium. I wonder if it's got taunt. That's the big thing, isn't it? I am going to just Trick Room though, and I'm going to just uh, Grass Knot into the Kyogre. Because even Fake Tears and a Water Spout won't be enough to get Dialga. Now I've said that, it'll be Choice Specs, Kyogre. Ah, okay. Taunt and the Amoongus, which is an interesting one, and there's the Water Spout. Both targets are taking it pretty nicely there. Um, and then we're going to get that Grass Knot, all important Grass Knot, into the Kyogre. Got to stop calling it that, really, haven't I? The thing that we need to worry about here is obviously the um, the Encore into the Dialga, which could potentially come out. I'm going to bring in Kyogre, though, for Dialga, and I'm just going to go Grass Knot again into the opposing Kyogre, which should pick up the knockout. Um, but it probably feels quite threatened here so it's probably going to switch out um, but I don't want to allow Dialga to be locked into this trick room here I'm going to see Kyogre switch out like we were expecting Ditto coming in Ha! excellent, couldn't have worked out better because the Ditto has that imposter ability changing back into another Kyogre and we're going to see that Encore there but it does fail and a Grass Knot come out <laughs> constant Grass Knot into that slot and chunk down that Ditto uh, we are going to see Oh, it is a red card, forcing Amoongus out, which I don't mind too much. And Dialga coming back in for us. Okay. Now we can just Water Spout. And we can Thunder into the Ditto. But we're making good, a good lead here. We are making a good lead, which is great. Uh, and my opponent just forfeits, so that is that. Right, guys, that is going to be it's going to be a short episode today, but uh, very enjoyable all the same. I think the team really just kind of shutting down those options uh, really well and getting set up and then putting our opponent in a position where they can't come back from, um, especially once they got the ditto and to try and copy the Dialga to make their kind of defensive synergy a little bit better but getting caught with the grass not onto the Amoongus then shutting everything down but I hope you've enjoyed today's episode we've kept the clean sheet gone so hopefully you can keep that gone for the rest of the week remember to leave your comments in the comment section down below I love hearing from you guys just have a great day morning afternoon night whenever you're watching this thank you so much for tuning in supporting the channel and all that and uh, I will speak to you and see you all for our next episode tomorrow so until then guys take care and bye bye